Hi, I'm Steve Oswald, and on behalf of my co-authors, Ian Nisbet, Andre Kiraji, and Jennifer Arnold, welcome to this short introduction and tutorial for the R package FlexParam curve, which is featured in Methods in Ecology and Evolution. FlexParam curve provides model selection and curve fitting tools for nonlinear regression and mixed effects models and expands the accessibility of these methods for data with multiple trajectories. So what is nonlinear regression? Well, just as in linear regression where the dependent y is predicted for the independent x variable, nonlinear regression achieves the same thing for variables that do not show straight line relationship. And this could be monotonic relationships, such as logistic curve, or a Gompers curve, or a Richards curve, which can be reduced to either of the previous curves, or something maybe more complex, such as double logistic curve. Flex Prime Curve can model all these relationships and provides tools to fit and select appropriate curves for your data. So why do I need Flex Prime Curve? Well, simply put, Flex Prime Curve can automate parameter selection by providing suitable starting values for multiple curves that have between three and eight parameters. And this actually allows automated selection of the most suitable curves and um, easy plotting of these curves. And of course, it's also fully integrated with functions such as NLS, NLS list, and NLME, giving a good access to mixed effects models. So how does parameter estimation work? Well, nonlinear regression, unlike linear regression, is actually performed by iteratively refining parameter values until the desired level of accuracy is achieved. Thus, you actually need to provide appropriate starting values for all your parameters in the nonlinear equation. Um, so that can be a problem. So flex parameter curve solves your parameter estimation woes with a self-start function that can parameterize a wide range of nonlinear curves. Uh, Self-starts do the dirty work of estimating initial parameter values for you, and actually already available for individual curves such as the logistic curve through SS Logist, the Gompertz curve through SS Gompertz, uh, even the Richards curve through SS Richards. So in flex param curve, SS Posnick Richards. Uh, can model um, equations from three parameter S shaped curves up to eight parameter double Richards curves. And just as a Richards curve can be reduced to common S shaped curves such as the logistic curve, so the double Richards curve can be reduced to non monotonic double versions of the same curve such as the double logistic curve plus all the intermediates. So here are some examples of the types of shapes of curve you can achieve using some of the different models in SS Posnick Richards. So in SS Posnick Richards, the argument mod number, which in this case is shown as a strip header for each of these panels, um, tells the self-start function whether to estimate all parameters, such as in mod number one, or to fix up to five of the parameters to use a special specified value. And this, by default, is means across the data set. Uh, a simple example of this would be the Richards curve, uh, mod number 12 here, which actually can reduce the logistic curve shown as mod number 32 um, when m, the shape parameter, of the first curve equals 1. The same rule applies to a double logistic curve, which is simply the 8-parameter double Richards, but with m and m prime, so the shape parameters of both the first and the second um, curve fixed to 1. So this is shown effectively as uh, mod number argument 5, although really it's mod number 25 um, that is the double logistic curve. Uh, the plotting function, posnegrichards.eqn, uses the same argument, mod number, so to plot any of the curves fitted by S, S Posneg Richards is fairly straightforward. So what if I already lost you, but you actually need to analyze nonlinear functions? Well, the second reason why you might be interested in flex param curve is even if you don't know what curve fits your data, but when you plot your data, a straight line it obviously isn't working such as here. And then the user-friendly model selection routines in FlexParam Curve can actually identify the best curve for your data and parameterize it while you're out grocery shopping, socializing, or simply taking a nap. One line of code and your problem is actually solved. And we'll provide some other examples in the tutorial part of this video. Finally, um, the other reason FlexParam Curve might be of interest to you is as in other self-starts, SSPOGs Snake Riches can feed directly into the functions for fitting nonlinear least squares models such as NLS and NLS list, and also nonlinear mixed effects models in NLME, um, which is a very powerful way to uh, 
um, analyze your repeated measures data. And as you'll see in our brief tutorial, this permits robust analysis of relationships for multi-level data. This could be data which are repeated measures of the same individuals or the same phenomena or any data where the independence of data points is violated. So an example here from the paper is the growth of penguin chicks and the dark um, black line shows early in the season the chicks that hatched early having a um, greater, higher rate of growth than the chicks that hatched later that actually show hatch, uh, catch up growth later in the season. So if we sold you for the very reasonable price of no money at all, as with every R package, we just don't want your cash, uh, just feel free to indulge in the following tutorial. And um, the actual code for the tutorial can be found on the Methods in Ecology and Evolution website, and you can follow along using that. So to give you a break from my voice, here's one of our collaborators and the folks from Phillip Island uh, to give you an overview of the penguin data set that we're going to use in the tutorial, and that's including flex prime curve. And it was collected by Andre and his colleagues for your very real risk of personal injury. Uh, hi, hello there. The data used in this tutorial are body masses of little penguins measured in 2000 and 2002. We are here on Phillip Island at the Penguin Parade in Australia, where little penguins are a tourist attraction since the 1920s. Here in our study site, we check penguin nests three times a week weighing chicks and recording their survival. Chick growth is a very sensitive variable to change in parental provisioning, a great variable to monitor foreign conditions in the marine system. But to interpret the chick growth curve on penguins, and in fact, in many seabirds, is often not simple. Seabird chicks have a nonlinear growth, a linear phase followed by a drop in body mass before fledging. This drop is a very important indicator of forage conditions. To detect this drop, samples have to be collected at short intervals. But this is not always possible. Standard monotonic curve fitting can miss or misrepresent this growth. The flex parent curve was developed using our penguin data to produce accurate curves to fit data collected at longer intervals. <laughs> 